Alrighty guys, this is Deckin here back with another video. Now this is a short one as you can see it's called 11.5 and that is because it's a it's gonna be a quick one I think and um, I just want to explain a few basic things. I've gotten so many questions every time people ask me uh, oh yeah, what is this? What is this? I'm, I'm explaining it all today. So what are we learning today? Services. Now honestly, anyone can watch this video. It really isn't an advanced topic. Um, I probably should have covered it in the beginner series, but I guess I didn't realize um, how important it was and, and people did, how people didn't understand it. But that's my bad, so I'm sorry, but I'm making a video on it to explain it. So it's a little bit of a boring one, um, but also some of you guys probably, probably don't know, so it's, it's good to know. Anyway, so what are services, okay? Now, here's what a service is, okay? Okay, people always ask me, okay, they go, what is replicated storage? Or what does it do? Or what is replicated first? What is lighting? What is um, server script service? What is server storage? What, what are all these things on the right here? What do they do and why are they there? And that's a great question. I honestly never knew for a while, but obviously, now I do. <laughs> um, but what are they? Okay, I'm gonna explain each and every one of these right here on, on um, let me explain all these right here, and then I'm also going to go into more detail on, on some more services. Okay, so um, workspace, um, it's not really a service because it, it, it's it's more of like the workspace, okay? I don't know, it's, it's, it's its own category, right? It's, it's it's everything in the game, basically, right? So that that's what the workspace is. It's everything you can see in your game, all right? And then, obviously, camera is your camera. Terrain is um, all that stuff right here. Okay, that's terrain. Um, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, but what most of you want to know is like this stuff, okay? So players, obviously, whenever you run the game, um, I'll spawn in right now, and I actually hit the run button on accident. But if I spawn in, it's going to actually create a player, okay? And I'm going to be there. Now, obviously, any player who actually joins the game from now on is going to show up there. And if they leave, they're going to get removed from there. So that's what players is, okay? Lighting. What is lighting? Lighting is exactly what it sounds like. You put lights in there, okay? You don't put actual lights. But, I mean, I guess you can. But um, but you can change stuff, right? So let's say we want to find the sky box, right? You want to change the sky. Most of you probably already know this stuff. But sky box, right? I don't know how to do it. I've never done it before. But, um... See, you just drag it in there. Look how simple that was. Honestly, not even that bad of a skybox. I honestly kind of like that one. <laughs> um, it's the first one I found, but still, it looks good. Um, but yeah, that, that's the skybox, you see. And it, it's, it's, whoa, what is that? This is actually so cool. I want to explore more of these skyboxes. <laughs> um, we get the point, okay? And there, that's, what, that's what it is. You can also put stuff like blur in there, and it's like an effect, right? You can, you can change the size, you can disable it, enable it, do stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff, right? Um, they also have stuff like bloom, okay? I don't know what it does, but I've seen it before, so um, that's how I know about it. I guess it makes stuff look more shiny. I don't know. Um, there's a good lighting preset people use a lot for the simulator and stuff like that. Um, you'll probably find it one day, but um, I'll probably do it, like I said, in a video one day. I'll, I'll show you all the lightings. Um, but anyways, there's more to that, but um, that, that for, for now, that, that's all you need to know, okay? That's what lighting is. Um, next, okay, we got replicated first. Okay, replicated first. Um, what replicated first is, hopefully you've watched my um, filter enable tutorial. If you haven't, this probably won't make sense to you, but make sure you watch that. Um, but what replicated first is, it's replicated storage, and let me explain what replicated storage is. Replicated storage is basically um, what, it's, it's basically storage, right? It's storage, but the, the client, okay, so me, whenever I start the game right now, I'll be able to see it, okay, I can see it. And I can access it, and I can read whatever's in here. Anything that's in here, like if there's if there's assets, if there's a model, or if there's like a weapon, I, I can see it. Okay, I can see it. I can save it. I can copy it. So if I'm an exploiter, I can see this and I can copy it for myself. All right, I, I might not be able to actually put it on my character, but I can basically see and and, and see this, and also move stuff to it. I th wait. Okay, I actually now I got myself tripping. Can the client access? Replicated storage. I, I know you can read it, and I know you can move stuff from it, but um, okay, okay. You know what? I'm I'm gonna <laughs> okay. I'm done. I'll come back to this one. Okay, but anyways, basically, it's storage that both the client, if the client can see it. Okay, that's the point. The client can see it. All right. Now, um, replicated first is replicated storage, but basically, it replicates first. So you you see it on the client first. 
and then you see this one later. I don't know why they have it, to be honest. Um, I honestly just well, pretty much only use this one. I'm not that, like, I haven't have any front page games yet, so I, I don't have, like, super hard performance stuff, but maybe one day whenever it comes to, like, having a performance game and you need to make sure your game's really optimized, maybe that's important to have replicated first. I don't know. Uh, network client, um, that one just loaded in, but that's, like, your client, right? That's you. Server script service. Server script service is where you can store scripts, okay? It's um, where you put scripts, okay? And no one can read it besides the server, all right? So no, if people join the game, they can't see it, all right? So I put a script in here. No one knows what it is. No one knows what it says. No one knows what it does besides you and the server, okay? So, yeah. So whatever it does here, they, they don't know, okay? They can't even see this. All right, server storage, same thing. Anything that says server beside it, they can't see. So this is server storage. So it's not like replicated storage. They can see that, but server storage, no, they can't see that. That's that's stuck just just for them. Now, once you move it into workspace, then they can see it. But if it's in server storage, you're safe. You're locked up, right? Um, start a GUI. Okay, that's where you keep your GUIs. GUIs. If you don't know what GUIs are, they're little things like this, right? You can move them, make them bigger, do stuff like that. You can put text here, all that stuff. All right, that's what GUIs are. Um, as you can see uh, yeah, from, from from that, okay? Um, okay, anyways, that's what GUIs are. Um, starter pack. Starter pack is anything that goes in here. So, for example, most of the time you put tools in there, all right? Um, anything in here um, actually goes right into your character. So when the game starts, what happens is Roblox has a script that replicates anything that goes in the starter pack. It replicates it right into your ca play or character. And also, if you don't know what a character it is, a character is your character, right? A player is is this thing. A character is the actual model, okay? A player is like like the the memory, all right? That's what it is. A character is the actual model, all right? That's the best way to put it. So now I have a tool, and I didn't even put it in there, right? But since it was in my starter pack, it went automatically into my backpack, all right? That's how it works. So yeah. Okay, starter player. Starter player is the same thing. You can put scripts in here, right? Um, but it's, it's said this goes into your player. So start a character scripts, start a player scripts. Normally, whenever you have a local scripts, you're gonna put it in here, unless you're unless they're in the tools or unless they're in the starter GUIs, right? So yeah, um, sound service where you store all your sound. It, it's like lighting, right? But you can put your sound in there, and also you can change some of the stuff. So um, doper scale. Honestly, I don't really use sound too much, but you can look this up and find it in the wiki, right? So chat. Um, low default chat i mean pretty self same story it's just chat right um you can disable that in the script i'm pretty sure chat but um I, I don't really know why this is even here to be honest i don't i don't know what you put in here i've never seen this used ever um but yeah uh localization service localization service you would think it means like um like a local client right but no it means like um like like translating service so like if you want to translate stuff this is how you do it. That I've never used it before. Like I said, I've never had a front page game, so I don't really know like yet, right? <laughs> I've never had a front page game, so I don't really know how it is to translate stuff. But I maybe use this for that, right? That's that's what localization means. Test service sounds pretty simple. You test stuff, right? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and then you have some properties over here you can test stuff with. So um, yeah, I'm actually gonna curious what happens if I hit play. I don't, I don't think I changed anything, but that that was. That was Wait a minute. What? I, I don't even know what this does, to be completely honest with you. But, um, yeah, okay. Anyways, that's what test service is, okay? We can look more into that, too, if you want. I'll probably explain it more in depth one day. Okay, and now let's go ahead and insert a script into our game. Okay, so what we're going to do is put a script in server script service, what you learn now. And we're going to do... Um, okay, so yeah, I'll also, now that I think about it, too, I, I remember, replicate storage basically... Um, a client can access these settings, okay? That, that's the point. A client can access any of that stuff, all right? So, yeah, sorry that I just jumped to that out of nowhere, but yeah. Um, okay, anyways, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to actually access a server, or uh, not a server, but a service in a script, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do local replicated storage, and I'm just making a variable called replicated storage, equals game, g game, and then you see how you have this colon, get service, Replicate the storage. Boom. Now I rep storage. Now I can put, um, I can do um, instance dot, or I can do, yeah, do local part equals instance dot new. And then I can do um, part, 
Okay, and then I can do replicated storage. And now watch what happens. I can put something in replicated storage with this with the service script. And boom, there you go. There's a part in there now, and I can drag it out to here, and which I normally wouldn't be able to do. But you know, well, actually I could. I could, I could read that. Um, but now I have a part here, right? So you see the point. Um, and then there's a lot more services as you can, as you can see here. Um, there's a lot more. There's like user input service. There's analytics service. There's um, the Game Pass service, which is marketplace service. There's login service, Lua web service. There's mouse service, network client, pa package service, replicated first, script context, social service, starter pack. All of these things. Even workspace is actually called a service, right? V VR service, virtual reality service. All of these services here. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of them you won't use. Some, a lot of them you will, right? You're gonna use some of them. You, you won't use some of them. So yeah, that's that's services. All right. And now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could do game dot replicated storage. But um, any service that's not there. So like, for example, what about user input service? You can't do that for user input service, right? Or I don't, I don't think you can at least. Um, so yeah. So that's why you use the get service function. All right. Um, any of these services you can look up if you want to, um, but um, yeah. All right, that's it. I'm sorry for the tutorial. It must a little. It might have been a little bit boring, but it's kind of a, a little bit of a boring topic. It's just services. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, next is coming up is lerping, and then after that, likely is data store. Also, guys, I'm making a big announcement at the end of the next tutorial, so make sure to watch it. I'm gonna explain it to everything, um, like GUIs, the, this tutorial series, where it's gonna go, what we're gonna do after this, all that good stuff. Um, it'll be the next tutorial, so make sure you subscribe for that. And um, if you're if this is new to you. And you never watched Chapter Tutorial before? Make sure you watch the beginner series first because that is what you need to know. So yeah. Anyways, uh, link to that description. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.